hello guys welcome back so far we saw how we can customize the registration and sign in form okay in this lecture we will see how to add confirmable module to an existing device resource as we just created user model using device without including confirmable module in it so we will see how we can add this in an existing device model but before adding this we must understand that what this module does i mean the confirmable module does and why we need this in our application so the confirmable module prevents user from accessing the system without confirming their email as this might be possible that users can provide any fake email to register in the system and by default device will validate the format of the email only okay for example if you provide a fake email that uh, supports the valid email format then device will consider this as a valid email okay and if your device model uh, have confirmable module included in it then whenever a new user register in the system it will first send an email to that user and once user confirmed their account then only they can access to the system and this way you can ensure that uh, no fake accounts are created on your application okay and there are two ways to add the confirmable module to your device resource one is to add uh, when you are creating your device resource as the first time i mean whenever you are generating your device resource model then you can add it to confirmable there and the other is to add it on the existing device resource and since we already have a device user model in our application so we will see how to add confirmable module in the existing device model and this is challenging as well okay because whenever you add confirmable module as soon as you generate a device resource then it is very simple because you just have to include the confirmable module and uh, add all the confirmable attributes okay but we need to take care of few things whenever we generate uh, whenever we add the confirmable module in an existing user model or in an existing device model okay so enough talking and now let's start adding the confirmable module to our user model okay so first open the user model go to the project directory directory and open the user model here you can see that the confirmable module is now commented so just copy this confirmable and add it after the trackable okay and save the user model okay now we need to generate a migration for adding the attributes for this confirmable module okay so switch to the terminal and generate a new migration so come to the terminal open a new terminal window and then generate a migration with name rails g migration and then add confirmable to users users okay now just generate this migration do not run this okay because uh, we need to remove the change method from here and we need to replace it by up and down methods okay so just go to the migration and open the last generated my uh, go to the project directory and open the last generated migration here you can see that add confirmable to users and what we need to do just to remove this change method and replace it via up and then create another method that is def down and end this okay i mean <laughs> save the controller okay and why we remove the change method here because when we roll back this migration we need to remove the confirmable attributes from the user table as well also there is one more reason behind not using the change method because here we are adding the confirmable module to the existing user model so we must confirm all existing users only new user can confirm their account with email received so we will use user dot update all query and it will fail when you roll back the migration if you are using change method okay so that's why we need up and down method okay now open the device migration for the user model here you can see that we created this migration that is device create users okay and in this migration you can see all confirmable attributes for uh, your device here you can see that this is the module name confirmable and these are the attributes for the confirmable okay like confirmation token okay the token which you receive for the confirmation and when the confirmation has been sent it okay and when the account is confirmed it and the unconfirmed email okay and there is another index that we need that is uh, add index users confirmation token okay because we need to use confirmation token attribute as a index okay so now just copy all these attributes from here so what we can do just copy this and go to the newly generated migration and in the up method you just need to paste this okay correct the indentation and now what we need to do here we need to remove these definitions like uh, 
t dot string and instead what we need to use here add column method add column then our table name users add the comma here okay and now you can correct the alignment of the attribute names okay and then we need to mention the type here okay so the confirmation token is of type string confirmed at and confirmation sent it as the type of date type date time and then a string for the unconfirmed unconfirmed email too okay and now here we need to add the index as well so just go to the device create user migration again and just copy this line that is add index to users table that is confirmation token and unique true okay so just come here and paste it and uncount uncomment this line okay now the most important thing to do is update all existing users to confirmed users otherwise existing users will not be able to sign in after adding this confirmable account okay so what we need to do here user dot update all and then we need to set confirmed at is to date time dot now okay confirmed at and set it to date time dot now okay and that's it now in the down method let's remove the columns and index that we added here so what we can do we can simply copy these columns and indexes go to the down method and replace this aid via remove okay so just select this and add remove here okay and here if you wish you can remove the types here because for the remove column we do not need the column types okay so just remove the types from here and save it now okay now save the migration file and go to the terminal and run the migration okay so switch to the terminal again and run the migration rails db migrate okay and when you run the migration you can see that these are the attributes added into the users table that is confirm confirmation token confirmed at confirmation sent at unconfirmed email and the index that is added as confirmation token and you can verify it into the schema.rv as well so open the schema.rv and here in the users table you can see that at the last these are the attributes that has been added that is confirmation token confirmed at confirmation sent at and unconfirmed email and this is the index of confirmation token which is added so all set and the confirmable module has been added to the user model now we need to test it to if this is working fine okay so first we will try with an existing user because we must make sure that adding this confirmable module should not affect the accessibility of existing user towards the system okay so go to the browser and here go to the browser and if you are already sign out the eh, sign in then sign out the existing user okay and then here okay sorry we must uh, make sure to start the rails server okay because if you do not start the server you will get some error okay so now start the server and restart the server and refresh the page now let's sign in with existing user okay so provide its password when you provide the password you can see that we can access the existing user and these are the, all the connection records so accessing the current user is uh, existing users is working fine and it means that uh, adding this confirmable module has not affected the accessibility of the existing users okay now what we need to do we just need to sign out this current user okay and then we need to try to sign up with new user okay so that we can test whether the confirmable is working or not okay so let's provide the name here let's say alex smith and let's say junior ruby developer and provide the email let's say alex at the rate example.com then username let's say alex123 and then provide its password password okay and now make some space into the terminal where the server is running okay and when you click on the sign up you will see that it 
redirects you on the sign in page and you can see that a confirmation email has been sent to the uh, newly registered user and you can see this confirmation email on the terminal okay so here you can see what it is showing that welcome alex at the rate example.com you can confirm your account email through the link below to sign in okay so now when you click on this link i mean when you open this link okay it will redirect you on the new page that means now your account has been confirmed okay so now let's sign in with this user let's set the example.com and now let's provide its password okay, and when you click it now you can see that the account has been confirmed and the new user can register okay and the new user can log in into the system and here you can see that when we click on that confirmed link it is uh, confirming the user and you can see confirmed at has been updated okay and the confirmation token sent it is uh, uh, inserted when we uh, create the record okay so here you can see so the confirmable module is working fine and it working for both for the new users and for existing users okay now what we need to do that uh, for the next lecture <laughs> not in this lecture in the next lecture what we will do that uh, here you can see that what we did to access the current user sign uh, to confirm the uh, newly registered user sign in a uh, newly registered user that we go to the terminal and we click on this link from here okay but what we will do in the next lecture that we will add a letter opener gem so that newly registered user can see the confirmation email preview on the browser and they can confirm their account from the browser itself okay so meanwhile try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture with letter opener gem till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe